What's going on, guys? How's it going? It's your boy, your man, the one and only Crunchy Dan. I know, right? Two videos in the same week? What the fuck is going on? Anyways, as I'm sure you guys are going to see, you know, the uh, thumbnail or, I mean, now it's up there. Thumbnail title, whatever it is going on. Um, the new Battlefield title has been released. And we can see here it's going to be about 20 years in the future. Let's have a quick look at it and... Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a big Battlefield fanboy, so I've been kind of paying attention to this Instagram and stuff like that and whatever. Full disclosure, I have watched this once on my phone, but I want to watch this with full stereo sound and see what's going on. Okay, so real quick, um, I don't mean to like break this down or, you know, look at every little individual piece, but I noticed that there was like a, there's a anti-air rocket coming at that plane. It popped flares, but it still hit. Oh, and I get the goosebumps and the chills all over again, man. That man just got wiped out. Squirrel suit? So obviously, you know, like I said, by title here, it's obviously going into the future. They've done World War One. They've done World War Two. Modern seems to kind of be a bit of a gap, I'm going to say, in history. I'm sure, you know, like with BF4, they probably touched on a little bit of a... You know, all that garbage that was going on post-2011 and all that senselessness. Anyways, on with it. Is that a robo-dog? What the fuck is that? So, tank warfare again, you know, the vehicles are coming back. I'm gonna guess this is some story. Ripping that down. So we might have some night ops going on here. Real quick, I notice a face shield. Strapped up. Now, a lot of this. Ooh, and we got this little hook oversight thing. Now, I mean, you guys know, if you guys have watched me, watch my streams, watch the last video, whatever. If you know anything about me, I have been playing Tarka for about two years now. So it's going to be hard for me not to relate back to the Escape from Tarkov universe. Anyways. Like the F5 Everly stock backpack there. I recognize that. Like I say, Tarkov stuff. So as a Battlefield fanboy, I recognize that right away. If you ever, like, in Battle... I, I can't remember which one it was. It was Battlefield 3 or Battlefield 4. But there was this whole, like, mini animation. You grab a dude by the shoulder, rip him around, thrust him one right in the vitals, and then as he's falling, you grab his dog tag and rip it off as his body falls away. So that I like. I like that little note. Back to the ice. Oh. So we're back back on ice, which reminds me of again the Battlefield 4, one of the expansions there. Hovercrafts now. Another thing, like I said, I did watch this on my phone. Um, but I'm now hearing the Motley crew kickstart my heart back there. Modern Cold War? Is that the story they're telling here? First to Mars? Ba 
That's Dawnbreaker! You can't tell me that's not Dawnbreaker from Battlefield 4. That's Dawnbreaker, right? Scout helis are back. Attack choppers are back. Like, especially this building right here with this big slant cut on it. That is so Dawnbreaker. Looks like some female representation there, I'm gonna say. Oops. Like, she... I don't know. This, this character looks feminine. Which is... I'm not sure if I, if I can remember any female characters taking a role in previous Battlefield titles. Let, let them have it, bud! Yeah! Scout Chopper! <laughs> yeah! Okay, what's going on here? C4 quad? No. Oh. I was really hoping that was going to be a C4 quad. We, we we've all played the games we've all you know we've done it strap a couple of c4s ghosted into the enemy tank boom right detonator button but this looks very dawn breaker to me some air superiority jet fights the dog fighting is he gonna rendezvous rendezvous Yes! Yes! Whoa! Wait for it! Yes! Oh, yes! Yes! I could care less about anything else. The fact that the devs and the team behind the game have taken a moment to really showcase not only i mean the dog fighting and the fighter jets are coming back but <laughs> those hashtag remember whatever it is fucking hashtag fucking only in battlefield the fucking rendezvous we gotta i gotta watch this scene all over again come back come back right right about there it's good Over the shoulder, boom! Oh, I love it so much! Oh, I'm such a fanboy, and just barely clips on. Oh, hits the afterburners. Go! Lays down some hellfire. Scout chopper's back. Oh shit. When everybody stops the fighting and looks over their shoulder. Oh, it's a big fucking tornado. I also noticed this when I watched this, like say on my phone. Um, regardless, what's up with the face mask? I can't make out the characters here, but now having kind of a look at it, it almost looks like a blend between Dawnbreaker and Siege of Shanghai out of BF4. Especially, I mean, if you guys remember Battlefield 4, I believe, was the big Levrolution thing, right? So I wonder if this tornado has something going on with that. Oh, here we go. So now is this... As the signage starts to fall out the building and all that, we're setting some flashes of... Excuse my ignorance. Japanese, Chinese, uh, uh, Asian characters in the signage there, anyways. This little guy, too, I noticed this as well. 
It's like a little three person trolley speed car thing, probably available on some certain maps as a quick transport, as a variant to the quads. And our main guy comes back from the first scene, comes back with his squirrel suit. So I wonder how that's going to play in. I want to say probably specific classes, like I'm going to say like engineer or assault, somebody like that. Maybe just fighter pilots have their own separate class now, as we've seen in games like Enlisted. I've covered a little bit of that. You know, you got your... your uh, plane fighters, the pilots, and your tanker classes, right? Again, kind of flashing back to 2040, or June 13, 2021. So as I record, this is June 9th. Which means, what, four days? Until we get the actual gameplay? That's going to be nuts. Um, I was going to say, flashing back to kind of the Battlefield 4 title a little bit. And they tried to kind of reminisce that in BF1 and BFV as well. Wow. Wow. I mean... Yeah, see, there's all guys are beating me to it, you know, the big YouTubers, right? Jack Frags, I saw Operator Drewski there already, you know, so. Anyways, I'm going to shut this down. I love you guys. I miss you all so very much. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have watched this video, again, like I said in the last, my most recent video, uh, shit's kind of hit the fan. We're not going to touch on that too much. If you guys need need my opinion, if you're ask want to ask questions or whatever, I uh, I have no problem talking to you guys. But uh, for now, like I said, thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay sane, stay out of trouble. I'm gonna go and make a thumbnail and upload this real quick. Like, thank you guys so much. Uh, let me know if you guys watch this, what your thoughts, comments, anything like that. Till next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay out of trouble.